Hey Z Physics, what are you up to? Oh this, I'm just looking at how Maxwell's equations show that the speed of light is constant in every frame of reference. I agree, that's pretty awesome, but let me just ask you a question. I've always wondered, if the speed of light is such and such, then what is the speed of dark? That is such a good question, we're definitely thinking on the same wavelength. So darkness is really defined as just the absence of light, so I guess what we're really asking is, what is the speed of a shadow? And I have a perfect problem to show you. We have this lamp pole that is four meters high, and we have this person here that is 1.6 meters tall and is moving this way at 60 centimeters per second. The person is going to cast a shadow from the lamp pole. If the person is going at 60 centimeters per second, what is the speed of the tip of the shadow with respect to the person? This question is actually not so difficult, but just so much fun, so we have to go for it. So let's imagine that we have a little ray that kind of like goes through here and then casts a little shadow. I'm going to call this angle to be theta. Well if the person was at the lamp pole here, assuming they're moving at constant velocity, they've reached here in one second, and if they're moving at 60 centimeters per second, this distance here should be just 60 centimeters. We have some unknown distance here, which uh, I'm just gonna call that distance x. Looking at this triangle, we have the opposite, we have the adjacent. So tan of theta will be equal to the opposite, which is just four, and then we're gonna be dividing that by 60, plus x. But also, if we consider this smaller triangle, we can also see that tan of theta will be given by this opposite, which is just 1.6, divide that by x. Now let's set those two equal to one another, so what do we get? 40 over 60 plus, or 4 over 60 plus x will be given by 1.6, x will just be given by 40 centimeters. In other words, the speed of the shadow will be 40 centimeters per second with respect to the person. Now, something that I find really interesting about this is that the higher the speed of the person, obviously even higher the speed of the shadow. So theoretically, if our person is approaching the speed of light, the size, the speed of the shadow could theoretically exceed the speed of light, but this does not break any laws of physics because darkness is just, well, just the absence of light, so we don't actually break any rules for the transfer of information. This question is actually from the 2023 JE Advanced paper, and there was one question on there which caused a controversy and ended up being stripped away from the paper, and you absolutely need to have a look at this question, and this video is right over here.